Hey guys, I am here to show you how to make an old map box out of just something simple you can get from Michaels or whatever craft store you want here. I got this for one dollar, so I thought it would be cool to just see what I can make of it from what I had at home. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a wood burner here and make things exciting. Ha ha ha. Okay, actually I'm just gonna make it look old, so let's just burn the inside. If you decide to burn your box, be careful because you could burn your fingers and such and that just is not fun. I prefer the corners to be pretty dark just because when you open the box it just it'll make everything look kind of old if you get what I mean. Turning it down though because I don't want the outside to look dark. Super dark anyway. You can see there, a few seconds ago I just dabbed random spots in the box. I'm going to do that occasionally through the video just to make the box look a little bit beat up but not overly beat up. So let's continue. Ha! It's one in the morning and I'm pretty just in a crazy mood. Anyway, I'm changing the tip. I burnt myself doing that because I wasn't very patient, so yeah, that wasn't fun. I'm going to go around the box here and I'm going to darken these ones up because I prefer it to look dark. But anyway, I'm going to go around the entire thing and do this pattern because I think it looks pretty cool. I'm doing it right on the line, so half the circles on the top and half the circles on the bottom. Wanna see something cool? Okay, watch. <laughs> That's why it's fun and my bedroom smells really good right now because it smells like burnt wood, but now it's time to stain it and we're just gonna ruin that burnt wood smell. I like cherry stain. I don't know about you, but you can use whatever stain you wish if you're going to do this at home. They'll all look nice, I'm sure, just use your creativity. Okay, so do the whole thing. I even do the bottom of the box, I just think it looks nicer. Alright, I did a second coat before I coated this. Now, I just showed you uh, Liquitex gloss and this is for acrylic paint but you can also use it as varnish because well the bottle says so so might as well just try it here it doesn't have a strong scent so hmm. okay now let's move on and use Mod Podge because we're going to do some crazy things to this itty bitty box ready for this map pieces ha I cut those before this video because I was really excited to do this All right, here's the first one. Down. Now I'm using fabric ones. If you use cardstock, I'm just gonna warn you ahead of time that you should use really thick cardstock because it'll bubble up and it'll make you mad if it's dried and you find bubbles in your wooden little decorative thing. It doesn't look so nice with those, so I learned that lesson before. This is Mod Podge again on top. It'll dry clear, so no worries there. Mine will also dry with a glossy finish because that's the kind I bought, but if you don't like that, you can buy matte Mod Podge and it won't have that look. Now I use my fingers and I use the napkin to just clean it up on the sides. The top will also have one. Australia's on the top of this box, guys. <laughs> what a big place for such a little box. Okay, so now we're going to go over this with that Liquitex varnish. Just do some touch-ups here. I just call it varnish, but whatever. Anyway, here's the finished look. I hope you like it, guys, and I hope you feel pretty inspired to create your own. Thank you for watching.